So you have data within an Excel spreadsheet and you want to move that quickly into a list so that you can do other things. You can also build automation off of this list so this data may be updating frequently. So how do you do that and have a little more control over it? We're going to talk about several steps here with using uh, Microsoft uh, Power Automate to go ahead and automate this import of the data from the spreadsheet directly into the list. So let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is let's just go ahead and delete this, these files so that, so that you know that this is, um, this is real. It's not smoke and mirrors. All right. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to create a, uh, the first thing that we need to do is create a directory, excuse me, a file called AC24 apps. Now that's the one I'm using for this example. You can create this as well if you want, just whatever. Just put it in a SharePoint directory. I did mine under personal documents and I just put it right here in the root of that documents folder. So it's right within documents and that is the spreadsheet right here. So if you want to enter the data, just put some dummy data in there like I have and then you can have column headers as well. Remember this has to be formatted as a table. The example that you're looking at is formatted as a table right now. So without it looking like a table, let's just copy this over real quick so you can see the difference real quick. Okay, this is not a table. To make it a table, I just highlight this, say format, oopsie, as a table, yes, boom, whoops. And let's do that one more time, format as a table. I don't have headers on this, boom and it puts in the columns. And I can rename these or I can put headers in there to begin with um, and highlight the whole text, it doesn't matter. But it has to be in a table format. That's the bottom line, it has to be in a table format. Then I wanna go ahead and create a flow to do that. Remember, I just go, I open up Power Automate, I go to Create, and let me see, I can't get there. Instant Cloud Flow, and then I give it a name and I select Manual Trigger Flow. And that's where I am here. So let's pause for a minute. I know I went through that quickly. I have documented it for you so that you can take a look. And again, these books are available on Gumroad. But here, um, let's go ahead and take a look here. All right. So here we just talk about creating the file, right, and the directory. And then we add some bogus data and we convert this spreadsheet to a table within Excel. That's it. And now we're here. So let's go back to, and we created the manual flow and we're right there. So here I just edited, added this. This will not appear when you first go in there, this date. You have to hit add input date. Then I modified this and that's it. So what that does is whenever I, um, whenever I start the flow, it's going to automatically prompt me for the date. Okay. Next thing I need to add is a list rows. Remember, you just click on there, say add action, and we can just say list rows, for example, and it's going to go ahead right here, list rows present in a table. So that's the one we got there. And here, you're just going to select your SharePoint site, right? You select it from the group there, select documents, and select the file. Pretty easy. And then this will be the default, pretty much, table one, okay? Unless you changed it, but... That's it. That's that's as easy. I know we're going by pretty quick here, but that's as easy as these first two steps are. So here, let's review it here with the big bouncing uh, red dots. Here, the manual trigger, we're going to add the date. Remember, it was over here. And then we're going to change this to whatever we want. And then we're down to the next step. So the next step is list the rows. Oh, we talked about that already. So then uh, we list the rows and we put in the critical information two three four and five okay then we're down dun, 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 to the next step which is the final step so here we're going to create an item remember this is create item if you add an action here you just say create whoops if you spell it right it comes up a little easier create an item right there create item so just go ahead and click on create item here again we're going to point to that same sharepoint directory and the list name at this point. Now, this could be a different SharePoint directory, by the way. I keep it in the same, but you could do whatever you want. doesn't matter. But you need to point wherever this list is right here. Okay. 
and then we're going to click on show all if in case something's not in there but most of the time it is but you can click on show all now this right here file upload if you click there and just click on fx you can see and go to dynamic content and this looks a little different in the classic uh, designer not the new designer so um, just kind of work your way but it's dynamic content both of them and this is the output okay and we're going to see that in action but i just selected on that and then here i did the same thing i just clicked on fx dynamic content and then i could search for these things division app so for example i could search for any of them and but do you see they're right there division and app so i just click on those it adds them and then hours but notice that hours is not there so if i can't see it search for it that's the first thing you want to do and there it is right there hours so i would just click on hours now for some reason and hit add and if for some reason it's not you can't find it it's a little quirk sometimes in power apps just hold your mouse over one of these and copy the code do you see where it says items open print small quote for each close quote close print question mark square bracket division question okay square bracket that is the code that's used so you could if you can't find something you could just go here whoops you could go here and you could just start typing in the code i i'm so used to hitting fx there is an easier way if you hit the lightning bolt than just those things pop up. So that makes it a lot easier. So anyways, now you know how to do it the hard way. Okay, that's all we need to do for this, um, uh, for this Power Automate flow. So let's go ahead and test it. Let's see if it works. So remember, you have to have the file in there, which we do. And we're going to go ahead and just save this. Right? Once you get done, save your work. And then we're not going to test it. We're just going to go outside and run it. Okay, a little bit different. Same kind of thing, but we're just going to run it. So go back, go to my flows, and then you see right here, and this is what you would do. So when you get your spreadsheet in, you're going to copy it into your directory with the exact name. You cannot change the name. It has to say exactly the same thing. Okay, so if this is an old copy, you may want to rename this one right to say backup or put a date on it or something but got to have it as exactly same in the same directory same sharepoint same directory same file okay got to be consistent it's all about consistency okay then we're just going to click on the button say run now it's going to come up and it's going to present us with the option of file upload date we're just going to click on this and give it a date we're just going to say the fifth let's say the fourth and then we're going to hit run flow and done. Okay, now in a minute, it's going to upload. But in the meantime, let's give that just a second to process. And we'll take a look at our book here. So here, this is how we run it. We went back into flow and we hit the run button, the play button. Here we selected the date. Run flow and then done. I didn't do a screen picture, but that's it. And then this is what we should see within the list. So we can go to list and we have to refresh it because the list was open and there it is right there, three, four. Now remember it's adding the date consistently for every single entry. So, um, so that's how that works. All right, and that's it. That is literally how simple it is to create a flow to move a content from an Excel spreadsheet directly into a list. And here from the list, now I can do all kinds of cool stuff. I could have this list with keeping consistent, right, with these values up here, right, the column names. I could have a Power BI that's running off of this and literally just drop that spreadsheet in and hit the button, hit my little button right here, play, and it'll automatically update this, which will automatically update Power BI. Again, there are ways to do this completely automated where you pull the attachment, drop it into the specific directory, and then prompt to run the flow. I'm doing it manually for, for many reasons, but uh, you can do it any way that you like. And I have several videos that talk about similar topics of creating that automation to pull those attachments. Good luck.